I'm Chef Mike Moses and welcome to my kitchen. Today we're going to make a butternut squash soup with a roasted butternut squash and it's all for one of my viewers daughters Bella. So this is Bella's butternut squash soup. I've got all the details coming up. If you like this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And if you would like to see more, please subscribe. I post new videos right here every weekend on this channel just for you. So for Bella's butternut squash soup, here's what we're going to need. One butternut squash, that's about two cups, a half an onion diced, one clove of garlic diced, a stalk of celery, one third of a cup of maple syrup, two thirds of a cup of heavy cream, carrot diced, two tablespoons of butter, and some salt and pepper to taste and about one and a half cups of chicken stock. All right, let's get this butternut squash trimmed and ready to go. Just gonna trim off the end. I wanna make it nice and square. And then I wanna cut it down the middle. I have to sort of eyeball it and be very careful. Those are fairly flat, that's good because we want them flat on the, uh, on the oven pan so that we can get uh, get all the goodness and all the caramelization. And then just with a spoon, you just scoop out the seeds. If you want, you can actually take these seeds, roast them up and uh, eat them. But in a butternut squash, there's really not that much seed. Okay, so we've got our two butternut squashes. These are gonna go into the oven at 350 degrees, 375 degrees for anywhere from 60 to 70 minutes until you can actually press down and everything is cooked. Just want to give it a little lightly season. And a drizzle of good olive oil just to help with the caramelization. This is where the fun comes in. I just take my hands, make sure everything's covered, and put it flat on the baking sheet. And there the butternut squash is ready for the oven. So we need our celery and don't worry about the ingredients being um, in big chunks because we're going to motorboat this. We're going to actually take the immersion blender and blend it all up. Just cut your celery into, uh, into bits that will fry up nicely. And the same with your garlic. So we've got those ingredients. My carrot, tail on top. So what I'll do is I'll just cut it in half a couple of times and then just chop it up. Probably want about a quarter of an inch to an eighth of an inch in size and that way uh, it'll saute up nicely when you start to build your soup in the pot. And then we need one half of an onion. I could go for a whole onion, but I don't want to overpower the uh, butternut squash with the onion. And we'll just cut up the onion. And there, that is our mise en place for Bella's butternut squash soup. As soon as the butternut squash is done, this is almost like a one pot meal. We'll take the roasted butternut squash pulp out of the skins and that goes right into the pot. And don't forget the sprigs of thyme. For the butternut squash, we also need to get our uh, vegetables uh, sauteed and actually softened. So the carrots take a little bit of time. Again, I'm going to turn the heat up to about medium high and I'm going to use some good quality olive oil. Put a tablespoon, tablespoon and a half. And we'll let this come up to temperature. As you can see, the olive oil kind of slow around the pot. I don't want to put my thyme in directly, but I am going to put my uh, vegetables in now. It's just a, a gentle simmer, gentle saute. And of course, we have to season. Salt, and that's only like a pinch of salt and pepper. You want to saute this and you want to keep these stirring around until the onions are translucent and the carrots are starting to soften. The soup is actually going to boil, um, simmer away for 30 to 40 minutes once we get the uh, butternut squash in there. And when that happens, uh, the carrots will break down completely. 
Okay, so the butternut squash has come out of the oven. It's been in there for 60, 70 minutes. I can tell it's done because my knife pokes through very, very easily. I'm gonna let it cool down probably for about five or 10 minutes so that I can handle it to get the uh, butternut squash out of it. Flip it over, you'll see some nice caramelization and everything looks oh, nice, and, nice and cooked. There we go. That one's actually falling apart. This is the part I don't want to eat. This is the part I do want to eat. Now that's still too hot to handle. We'll let that go for about five minutes and then we'll come back and we'll take the butternut, other the butternut squash skin. Okay, the butternut squash is now cooled down enough that I can handle it. And I put some gloves on. Uh, as you can see, the skin peels right off. And what you have to make sure is that you get all the skin taken off, because if you don't, it's not, uh, not something you want to have in your soup, trust me. All right, so the skin is all removed. Now that we've got our butternut squash de-skinned and all ready to go, we'll just put that right into our pot. Break it up a little. And we're gonna add our chicken stock. And like I said, probably about two cups, so uh, half of this. There, two cups of chicken stock. Our seasonings, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. Uh, we will also add uh, two tablespoons of butter and, of course, a tablespoon of maple syrup. And I'll stir this around. So this has to go on the stove and you want it to simmer away for anywhere from 30 to 35 minutes, just so all the flavors get incorporated and the butternut squash absorbs all the spices and all the flavorings. Okay, our butternut squash soup has been simmering away for probably 30, 35 minutes. And that is so that the carrots can become soft and, and just after we've sauteed them, we didn't saute them down to a softness, but now they're soft, everything is broken up and I've added more chicken stock. As you see your soup getting thicker and thicker and thicker, add a little more chicken stock just to make it uh, not as thick and as hard to, uh, hard to take your blender and blend it up. So with that in mind, what we're going to do now is blend up our butternut squash soup. Turning it on the side and taking two or three minutes just to make sure you get everything. Keep your blender all immersed all the time or there will be butternut squash everywhere, sealing the whole bit. I am leaving some chunks. Um, okay, now that our soup is pureed, you want to reduce the heat way down to low. And the reason being is you don't want it to burp on you. And when it burps on you, it spurts all over the place. Uh, now we'll add our two thirds of a cup of heavy cream. Blend it in. And this lightens up the soup. And again, adds a little more fat to it, which makes it uh, very nice on the palate. Very nice. Let's dish up a bowl for Bella. A nice, thick, hearty soup. Put her on the plate here. Put a little piece of thyme in the middle and then we'll just add a dollop or two of heavy cream there. And there. And there, for Bella, is her roasted butternut squash soup. I hope you enjoy it. For more information on this recipe and more, head over to my uh, website, www.chefmikemoses.com. You'll find I have a blog running there with the recipes that you can print it off. I hope you enjoy this. I'm here to help you cook better, shop smarter, and eat healthier.